Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemag TV. In today's video for design tips we're going to be taking a look how to create a video background and then animate text over the top of it all inside Elementor. So let's just jump into Elementor and take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So I jumped over into the WordPress dashboard and I'm ready to create my new page. I'm going to name this video, we're going to come over and I'm going to set this up to be 100% or to be full width and disable any margins. Now these options are specific to Ocean WP. If you're using a different theme, you may not have these options or you may have a slightly different version of these options. Don't worry too much about it. It's more to do with Elementor than the actual theme. Once I've done that, I'm going to click Publish to update my page, commit those changes, and now we're ready to jump into Elementor to start making and creating that actual header we want. Now, there's a couple of things to bear in mind when you're doing something like this. There are reasons why it's not great to put videos in the background, but there's also reasons why you'd want to. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. I just want to show you how you can do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new section. I'm going to set this to be just a single column and row. And once I've got that, I'm going to select it, come over to the Layout tab and set this to stretch the section. I'm going to leave the content width to be boxed because I want the actual content inside it to stay inside the flow of the site, but I want the background to extend full width. Once we've done that, just making sure we still got this row section selected, we're going to jump over to the Style tab, and what we're going to do in there is we're going to set the background type. Now you can see we've got three different options, Classic, Gradient, and we've got Background Video. All I'm going to do is select the background video, take out the placeholder, drop in the video that I want in there, and once I've done that, I've got the video set to go in. The next thing I want to do is put a background fallback. Now this is good if you're dealing with someone that's got a slow connection or on a mobile device where video doesn't play properly or play at all. So this gives you the ability to put something in there to make sure that the end user still sees something in the place of where the video should be. So what I always recommend is grab yourself a still from the video that you're putting in there or something that relates to the video. So even if the end user can't see it, they'll know what this context is for the header. I'm simply going to use this image. I'm not too worried. I want to show you the technique, not the specifics. Insert the media. So what this will do now, like I say, is when we load the page up, it's loading that video or if it can't find the video for any reason, it'll show this placeholder. Next thing you want to do is drop in a background overlay. So we're going to select the background overlay section. A couple of options, we could do background type to set classic, or we could put it to be a gradient. For this one, I'm going to set it to be classic, so it's a single solitary color. I'm going to set it to be black, and I'm going to set the opacity around 0.5 is fine. You could also, if you wanted to, add an overlay image at this point. So if you had something that you wanted to put on the top of it, a texture or something, you could do that here as well, simply by selecting the image option. Now the next thing we're going to do is just drop in the different elements that are going to make up the actual content of our header. Now I'm going to be using the animated text and this is something that's only available in Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro and you want to use this feature, then you're going to need to purchase that. If you are considering purchasing it, please use the affiliate link in the description below. It doesn't cost you any more money, but it does give a small percentage back to help support the channel. However, you could still use just simple heading and text and so on in there, so you don't need to use the animated version. So let's just scroll down and I want the animated text. So let's just search for that. So there's our animated headline. Go drag and drop that in there. We're also going to come in and we're going to set a divider line. And finally, we're going to come back in and we're going to choose a heading to place underneath it. And our last item is going to be a button, which we're going to place at the bottom. So there's all the different elements. What I want to do now is just give this a little bit of space. So I'm going to come back to the Advanced tab, making sure that I've got the row selected, and I'm simply going to add some padding in. I'm going to uncheck the link, so we just put some padding top and bottom. So I'm going to put 150 top, 150 bottom. So that gives us some space now to play about with, and you can see the video playing in the background. We're now ready to start creating the actual text that we want. So I'm going to select our animated text, and we're going to go through, and we're just going to set this to be rotating as opposed to being the sort of outline text. You can choose whatever animation you want then from the different options. You can see you've got things like slide and so on. I'll leave the text that's in there. That's fine. I'm not too bothered about what it's saying. But you can see we've got the before text, which is this page is. Then you've got the rotating text, each one on its own individual line. And you see after text, your headline, if we want to put something else in there. Set the alignments and so on, the font sizes and H3 tags and so on. What I want to do is simply come in, choose a color that's going to stand out. We're going to come in the typography in here, and we're going to set this to be Montserrat, which is a nice, bold kind of font. 
come back in and we're going to set this to be 500 and we're going to set it to be uppercase as well bump the size up so it's a bit more noticeable that'll do for now and yep that's looking cool come on choose the line we're going to set this to be three pixels color white in there we're going to grab the width and take that back to about 20 percent and set it to be centered and drop the gap spacing down on there finally we're going to come into our second header and we're going to drop some text in there that's just going to be our sort of our interest then our call to action interest now i've simply just grabbed some text from one of my websites we're going to drop that in there set that to be center line and again we're just going to quickly go in and style this to make it look a little bit more in keeping with everything so again all the same font family for this example slightly smaller and slightly thinner for this so it's of secondary level importance should we say 26 looks good and we'll bump the line spacing up a little on there as well and finally we're going to come in and set the button the way we want again center that drop in what we want on the button text and we'll just quickly come in and style that as well so text color we're going to set that to be white i want a nice simple outline box and say the background color we're going to set to be transparent and we're going to come down and set a solid border on there we'll set one pixel width border radius of zero that looks pretty good and what we're going to do is come to the hover state and we're going to set the animation to grow so when we take my mouse over it'll grow a little bit and all we need to do as a final thing is come in and just style the animated text so if we just jump over to a style on there you can see we can come in and we can control that as well so we we'll set that to be white so it's the same we'll set that to have the same typography so we'll do Montserrat but what we'll do with that is we'll make it slightly thicker so it stands out a little bit so we'll say there we go let's try something like 700 and if we wanted to we could make that a different color so let's just say let's put that in red there we go hit update on there and there's the basics of creating our animated header we've got a video in the background everything works as we want we've got a temporary holding image but what i want to do is just quickly push this up so it sits behind my navigation so i'm going to simply select that come to advanced put a little bit more padding at the top and then we're going to set a negative margin and i think it's 120 and link those two 120 and then I just can put a minus at the beginning and that should pop that up there as well so we can set update on there and there we go we've now created a video background with a holding image should we have any problem or we're dealing with mobile connections and so on we put some animated text over the top bit a button going through to whatever we want so we've created a nice looking informative header all in a couple of minutes and there we go let's take a look at it in action you can see there's our holding image and after that once the video starts to buffer you can see the video now starts to play in the background and that'll carry on playing and rotate through each time it comes to the end of the video and that's all there is to it nothing complicated about it but you can use this to great effect if you want to well there we go that pretty much wraps up this video this design tips video for elemental and elemental pro if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time we upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else you'd like to see covered in future videos, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.